Welcome to our lesson about the tooling split command. We created all three necessary surface bodies for the core and cavity blocks of the mold. Now we're ready to activate the tooling split command. SolidWorks prompts us to select a face or edge on which to sketch the feature cross-section or to choose an existing sketch. I'm going to choose this sketch here. Right now we're in the sketch environment. Let's take a normal two view, activate the rectangle tool. I'm going to drop a rectangle about here. Now a point. Let's place it here. Right click and select to close the tool. Now shift select my point and the origin point. Add a horizontal relation, OK. Let's fully define this sketch. And let's exit the sketch. Take an isometric view. Notice that SolidWorks created an extrusion in two directions. The depth in direction 1 is represented by a single arrow here. The depth of direction 2 is represented by this double arrow. And we can see our part emerge fully in the tooling block. The core, the cavity, and the parting surfaces are already automatically pre-selected for us in the Property Manager. Let's click OK. Here we have more blocks. Let's hide the core and the model. And now we can see the cavity block. And this concludes our lesson about using the tooling split command.